With sirens blaring, the football field at Forest Hill High School became an outdoor classroom for a day. This is a simulated car crash, complete with mangled vehicles, student actors dressed in bloodied prom outfits, and first responders from West Palm Beach Fire Rescue working diligently to save lives. The audience made up of fellow students watching from the bleachers. This scene was put on by St. Mary's Medical Center, the Palm Beach Healthcare District, and Vision Zero, whose coordinator is Tara Applebaum. We like to recreate a car crash from start to finish and let everybody know the consequences of distracted driving, driving impaired, and all of the other things that can go wrong while you're behind the wheel. Vision Zero's goal is to reduce and eliminate traffic deaths and serious injuries in part through education. They want to reach these teens at a time when their lives are centered around celebrations that might include alcohol, like prom, graduation, and summer vacation. The landing of the Tromahawk helicopter served as another indication to these students that one wrong decision could seriously alter their life plans or even end it. One of the students actually being killed in the crash, I think it brings the message home that this actually can happen to them. That person who is under the influence could risk their life and other people's lives and I think that's very important because it's not, it's not a joke. When prom comes or any other time, we just want to be safe. We just want to, you know, enjoy ourselves our last few months of school. On a day when field sobriety replaced more familiar testing, organizers were hoping this vivid demonstration will alert students to look out for one another by taking peers out of situations that could lead to a tragedy. And so that going forward, doors will open for them, not close like this one. Now to keep this message going forward, another crash simulation will be held at Palm Beach Lakes High School on April 9th and a safety fair scheduled for Cardinal Newman High on April 10th. Reporting live in studio, Ron Burke, WPBF 25 News.